Are you that man that every day you wake up with the same thoughts as you did going to bed? Like, how did I get here? Why am I here? Why can't I be here? Why did I do that? I remember in 2019, my wife had her bags packed with her two kids at the time. And she said, I'm going to stay at my mom's. And I remember thinking to myself, kind of blindsided me. But at the same time, it didn't blindside me because I knew deep down inside that I had those thoughts every night for probably four or five years before that. And I remember looking at my wife and I'm asking her, what do you want me to do? And she said, I don't want you to do anything for me or the kids. I want you to do it for you. I want you to rise. I want you to change and want something. And I remember sitting there for a couple of days and not realizing what she meant. And my world was upside down. And I looked at myself and I was like, what do you want, Mark? What do you want in your body? What do you want in your marriage? How about in your business, Mark? And I didn't know. I couldn't answer those questions because I had never taken the time to know what I truly wanted. So how could I be truly happy? How could I value my wife and what God has given me and my kids if I didn't truly value myself? Because in reality, I had the Instagram family. I had the perfect wife, the perfect kids, the home, the cars, the look, the hair, the beard. I had it all. People would tell me that all the time. I had mentors and coaches saying, dude, you're the guy. I didn't believe it because I wasn't doing the work that was required on a daily basis. I was lying to myself. I was saying that you could do it. <laughs> my people my whole life invested in me. I felt like it was wasted because I wasn't doing the work. So in 2019, that was the hardest probably thing I've heard from my wife, but probably the best thing. Because I set out over the next couple years to be like, what does Mark want? What does Mark want in his marriage, in his body, in his business, in his life? What is it all about? And by doing that, I found that I had to rise. I had to rise my body. I couldn't stop. I couldn't lie to myself anymore. I remember I'd take my shirt off at the pool and I'd be like, and we'd make fun because I kind of had a dad bod because I did it to myself and I realized it wasn't funny. I realized going on dates with my wife, I would always go with friends because I didn't have to talk to my wife. I didn't have to look at my wife. I remember with my kids, as soon as my wife would leave and I'd be with the kids, I'd give them their iPads because dad wanted to relax. I remember my business, I was so comfortable and it was so, came so easy and I had a wife that I was married to that was powerful, that produced at a high level. And I sat back and let her produce. I let her take over, not the whole, all finances, but most of them. And then she took over raising the kids and she took over raising a fourth kid in me. And that's not what she signed up for. She didn't sign up for her husband to be another kid that was whiny, that was, had so much emotions. My wife always wants an oak tree and I was always, I was always the tornado inside the tornado. I was never the oak tree. I was never the solid foundation she needed. So in the last couple of years, I've set out to be that solid foundation. And I've realized that for one, I needed to rise as a man because that's what God's called us to do. He's called us to be a leader in our household and a leader out there. So if you're a man that wants his body to be maximized in all areas and you want to rise, I'm your guy. If you want to be able to go on dates and you want to look at your wife in the eye and have connection, have the best sex you've ever had and feel wanted by your wife, because trust me, I've been there where I'm like, does my wife even want me? Does my wife even love me? I've been there. And I've now had the reverse of like, my wife wants me. She craves me. I crave her. If that's you and you want to rise, I'm your guy. Because I have such a passion for healthy marriages, especially when you're married to a powerful woman. Because when you're a powerful man married to a powerful woman and you guys both know where you want to go, it's game over. You're going to do things in a short amount of time that most people cannot do. And if that's you and this has been pulling at your heart and you can feel it in your gut, I'm your guy and let's click the link below and let's get going.